Hello, this is me, Pierce Stalby. Today, we'll be doing a video of a follow-up low up to what happened to old Weird Ed's old hamster that he mentions in Day of the Tentacle. Well, it goes like this. Bernard kidnaps the hamster, but I'm not, I'll just let you find out for yourselves about what Bernard's talking about in Day of the Tentacle. Okay, here's the part. Damn, I broke it, is what Bernard says. Can't you read the sign? Now get out of here. Trying to mimic his voice from Day of the Tentacle. Yeah. Somehow Razor got a hold of it and blew it up in the microwave. He says, oh, how cute. Yum, should I take white or dark meat, is what Razor said. Five years later... Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. 
Now I collect stamps. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I, I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No! I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? <laughs> Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. Yeah, I saved in that one video. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Cute little fella. Cute little fella. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. That's so boring, it almost put me to sleep. And I collect stamps. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. That's so boring, it almost put me to sleep, and I collect stamps. Hey, be careful, you almost hit my stamps. Hey, be careful, you almost hit my stamps. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? <laughs> uh... My Pony Express stamps. You ruined my Pony Express stamps, not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room! Jeez, what a grump! He should really try to find some outlet for those... Hmm. 
negative feelings. Hmm, a 1778 Pony Express general delivery stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. Hmm, a 1778 Pony Express general delivery stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Get out of here. Hi, Ed. Don't push it, man. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Hi, Ed. Don't push it, man. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Hey, leave the rest of my stuff alone and get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. And that's the story about what happened to Weird Ed's hamster that he mentions in Day of the Tentacle. I think he'd kill me if I did it again. Bet she probably would. I think he'd kill me if I did it again.